Hey tennis fans, it's me, Markus, from All About Tennis. You guys asked for a video about tactics, so the upcoming videos will be mostly about the tactical part of tennis. The next three videos will be about the positioning on court. Where should I position myself to cover the court perfectly? There will be three videos about positioning on court. I did these videos already in German. The first video will be about the right positioning on the baseline, solely positioning to the right or left, not to the front or the back. Most people think that they should always go back to the middle, having in mind that they are always covering the court the best way when positioned in the middle of the court. But that's the wrong mindset. You should only be standing in the middle if your opponent is hitting a ball from the middle of the court too, which barely happens. This is demonstrated with the yellow lines. The distance between your position and these two yellow lines is exactly the same. So the position in the middle of the court would be all right in this scenario. Now we are going to assume that your opponent is hitting the ball out of a corner, marked in orange color. Let's say your opponent is hitting a ball down the line. I mark the ball perfectly straight, exactly one meter away from the single sideline. This ball here. You can never push your opponent outside the court when hitting a down the line ball. On the contrary, if you look at a short hit cross court, bouncing at a similar location as the down the line shot, it is now bouncing outside the court. This means that you have to run more to the cross court shot compared to the down the line shot. It's going to be even more extreme when your opponent is hitting the shot a little bit shorter to this spot here. This is very effective when hitting a cross court shot, meaning a short cross ball. You would have to run even more to reach the short cross ball compared to the long cross ball. So your position would have to be around one meter outside the middle to cover the whole court perfectly. And this position here. You can always keep in mind when you are at the baseline, you always have to position yourself on the opposite side from where the ball is coming from. Generally speaking, it is very important to anticipate where the opponent is able to place his best shot to your forehand side and his best shot to your backhand side. The important thing is the flight path and not only where the ball hits the ground. These two flight paths form an angle and you have to position yourself right in between these two red lines. Then you would have the perfect position. Normally you don't want to be somewhere in the middle of the court, so this would be a very good position here, like one meter, about one and one and a half meters behind the baseline. Keeping that in mind, I came up with a new scenario. The opponent is now hitting the ball from this red position here. So your opponent is not hitting the ball from one meter inside the singles line, but rather one meter outside of it. Now your opponent is able to hit the cross ball even further to the outside of the court with a better angle, pushing you even more out of the court. However, the down the line shot is now less effective. Instead of traveling parallel to the singles line, the ball is now traveling from the outside to the inside of the court, kind of uh, towards the middle of the court. So if you are standing in the middle of the court, you would barely have to move to get to that ball since the ball is traveling towards you. The further the opponent is outside the court, the more the ball is traveling towards you. But on the contrast, the cross court shot is going to push you even further out of the court. And also the short cross is going to be very, very effective, which I marked here. Thus, your position will now be even more towards the single sideline and away from the middle. If you would be positioned in the middle of the court, you would have no chance in reaching that cross court shot. So the red star 
is the perfect position in this scenario if the opponent hits the ball from there. To compare that sort of situation, your opponent will now be hitting a ball close to the service line from that yellow spot. I positioned the opponent right on the same line as the red down the line shot. So your opponent is hitting a very similar shot, just a lot closer to the net. The down the line shot is identical to the one before, while the cross court shot is pushing you further out of the court and is more effective. Just because the opponent is closer to the net, the angle of the yellow lines is getting bigger than the angle of the red lines. Thus, the cross court shot is even more dangerous when being hit from inside the court. You have to be aware of the fact that if you hit a short ball, your opponent will have many more opportunities to push you out of the court by having a better angle. So now you would have to position yourself even closer to the single sideline and away from the middle, like I show you with a yellow star here on the spot. And you would also have to position yourself a little closer to the baseline compared to the red star, but I will talk about that in one of my next videos. Have fun practicing and until next time.